What is up everyone and welcome back to my Red Bull Leipzig career. Today we are on episode 8 and as you will remember last time out we played a couple more league games. We're actually leading the Bundesliga overall and next up we have got a game in the cup. However first of all we're going to jump straight into a training session and we're going to take it as well so let's get on to that. Load up our players. I think I'm going to more or less keep that the same so we'll jump into it and I'll be back in just a second. So there we have it, our first training session of the day is over. As you can see, we managed to get three Bs and two As, which was very pleasing. Actually, just using Stefan Brandt there at the end, our centre-back who we've just brought up, he actually feels very good to play with on the ball. Like He almost gets attracted towards the ball when you're going in for a tackle. It's something that Jonathan Tarr, I think, does as well on this game. That's why, obviously, I bought him. So that's definitely one to watch out for because we want to be able to bring him up, and he has a very high potential, so... He's definitely one to look out for in the future, and ideally we'll be able to bring him through to the first team. Just taking a quick look at our objectives for youth development this year, as you can see they are critical, and we actually have to sign three players with over 75 potential to the youth team, and then increase their overall by at least 10 points. Well, I think we've only signed Torben Mayer, that's to the first team. But I might actually bring up Brandt now, hopefully to the first team. Then ideally in the cup games we can actually give him some time and improve his rating a little bit more than what it currently is. So here we are at our youth academy and as you can see our players are actually very, very high on potential. A lot of them all up above 90 as you would have known. And Stefan Brandt actually has kind of the highest and closest range of potential out of all of the players between 85 and 94, which is extremely high. He's only 60, but just using him in that training session, he did feel very good. So I'm actually going to put an offer in, or offer him a contract to hopefully join up with the first team sometime soon, and then we can give him as much time on the pitch as we possibly can to make him into an absolute tank of a centre-back for our club. But anyway, now it's time to play our first match of the day. We are up against Hamburg, I believe, in the third round of the Deutsche Pokal, so we will get into that. In terms of the team, as you can see, Dembele is just recovering from an injury, so we're going to put him on the bench. This is always a good time for us to have a lot of rotation, so I'm just going to change a couple of players around quickly, fast forward it, and then we'll be back in just a minute.
Okay then, so now we are back. I have actually made a lot of changes as you'll see. More or less the whole starting 11. It turns out we're actually kind of short on the left wing. As you know, we've had all of our injuries, the cursor, the left wing, all that kind of stuff. But I'm going to play Toro on the left wing. I'm just going to try him out. If not, we'll sub him off later on. And Redman, I don't actually have another left back at the moment because I believe Anthony Young has either left on transfer or he's out on loan. So in terms of replace for Haustenberg, I'm just going to go with Redman for the moment. I think I've pronounced his name correctly. But other than that, we're going to field this inexperienced team. Hopefully, it has got enough to get us through to the next round of the Cup. But let's get straight into it and see how we can do. So, here we are, playing our first match of the day. We've got a very inexperienced team out on the pitch, but I'm sure we can still do a job and get through to the next round of the Cup. Get to it, put Burke back through maybe. Not quite. Kadira and Burke is offside. The game's actually really close at the moment. I don't actually... I think there's been like one shot and that was where Burke was offside. But other than that, it's literally all been sat in the middle. Hopefully we can break through some point soon. Cross that in maybe. Not quite. Come on, get to him, Kompo. Oh, that was a poor ball. What a save. What a save. Okay, Burke's free up on the wing. Just get him through. This is the opportunity to get a shot off. Good save, though. Right, half-time, nil-nil. Extremely close so far. Might have to make a couple of changes just to turn the balance of the game. Get a shot off. Oh, no. You snatched at that. Oh, that was so close to a goal. Alright, looks like we're going to extra time. Timo Werner is on the pitch. We're playing him out on the left wing. Selk is moving back just behind the striker. Terence Boyd's getting his chance up top. Someone make a run. Come on. Left wing. There we go. Werner. He's going to cut back in. Smash it top corner. Not quite. Okay, we're a bit short here. No, 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 no. Oh, off the post. Off the post. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Come on. We've got no one back. We're getting caught up, though. Shoot. Oh, how did we miss? Of all the plays, it could have been. It was Ilsanka. And we're going to penalties. Uh-oh. Alright, so it turns out our penalty takers are very bad on this team, according to the stats. So, not too optimistic. That's good, we saved the first one. And he saved as well. Oh, come on, to the right. Let's go. As if, as if he saved that. I'm going to say to the left again. Let's go. I'm going to say down the middle again. What is going on? To the left. Oh, he went down the middle. I'm going to go to the left. Let's go. I'm going to keep him going to the left. And he went to the right. Nice, let's go. You will go to the left. Oh, that was so close. He's got to sky this. Surely. I'm going to keep on with the left. It's working well. Should I go to the right this time? Massive run up. No, he's got to go to the left. So he goes to the right. No. How did we lose? Well, as you can see, we're out of the cup already. Didn't think we were actually going to go out that quick. Probably could blame it on rotation. But I wanted to give the youth players a good go. And we were just unlucky, really. Like, 
what was it, three penalties saved each? Probably not something that we wanted to see, but as you can see, there is our prize money for the Deutsche Pokal as we are out. Taking any positives from it, at least now we can just concentrate on the league. That is the only competition that we're in. So really, I'm going to put it out there. We should try and win it. We should really, I think that's what we should go for because I think it's achievable as well. We're going to win the league. I'm saying it now. One bit of good news is that Stefan Brandt has accepted our contract, so he's going to be joining up with the main team. We probably won't be able to blame as much now that we have been knocked out of the cup, but still, we'll try and feature him in as many games as we possibly can. Okay then, so here we go. We are playing our second match of the day now. We're up against Hertha Berlin, and we have a bit of a dilemma. Within three days of each other, we are playing Hertha Berlin and then Bayern Munich. So I've obviously got kind of our main team in here as you can see but players like Sanchez, Dembele and Burke mainly the pacey players I'm actually going to leave out and Werner as well if I didn't just say him I'm actually going to leave them out because three days I don't think everyone will recover so if we save them now because most likely we're going to be counter-attacking against Bayern because they're going to have a lot of possession so I'm going to save them today and hopefully then we can do well against Bayern just need to put Donnarumma back in. And also, as you'll see, I'm going to test out Brandt. I feel this is a good game to start him off. And then we'll bring either Auburn or Papadopoulos back in for Bayern. But anyway, I think that is about it. So let's get into our second game of the day and hopefully do a little bit better than the first game. Hi there, everybody. Martin Tyler with you. Alan Smith is also joining me today. And it's a game which we're anticipating. Here we go, our second game of the day. We're up against Hertha Berlin. Hopefully we can get a better result than what we did in our first match, which was in the Cup, where we lost on penalties. We've got it down as a 4-3-3. Yeah, it's a system that the Netherlands used to use all the time. I think really they Okay, we're starting quick. Get a shot off Selka. Very nearly a goal in literally the second minute. I think that might have just been offside. Or not. Let's get that shot off then. Nearly. Good save though. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Get through Selka, get something on it. Shoot, Sabitzer. And it was offside anyway. Let's get Forsberg out there. Get a shot off. Oh, nearly. Tremendous understanding for these players. Come on, get Selka back through. Get a shot off. How did we not score? Nice turn. Come on, come on, come on. Kaiser, this is your chance. Selka, shoot. Good defending. Last ditch, but it's good. Come on, Sabitzer. Oh, of course we've got an injury. A standard now. And it's our striker. Striker that we subbed on as well, Terence Boyd. What a surprise. Alright, so, second game of the day. I guess it's a little bit better because it wasn't a loss, but we managed to draw 0 0. Uh, couldn't score any goals. And I think they said that Herther have actually drawn the last four games in a row, so that's five for them. Um, and yeah, a draw. However, next up we have the big one. The biggest game of the season against Bayern Munich. So, we haven't done too bad. Terence Boyd got injured, but that seems to be standard for us. And at least it wasn't any of our other key players. Alright, so now we are back. We can assess the damage to Terence Boyd. And as you can see, he's injured for three weeks with a sprained knee. Which is a little bit disappointing, but on the positive side of things, Usman Dembele is back. I'm not sure he's going to have much stamina at the moment, so he might not be able to play against Dortmund. But if it's really necessary, we'll chuck him back in. Okay, so I know we've only played two games today, but that penalty shootout has probably dragged the video out just a little bit. So we're actually going to leave it here. We're going to get straight into the Bayern Munich game in the next episode. Might get one quick training session in before that, but that's going to be the first thing that we do. We've got to get prepared for it and we'll jump into it and hopefully win, even extend our lead at the top of the table because somehow, even though we have been a bit poor in the last few games, we are still leading the Bundesliga, which is very, very pleasing. So, as I said, we are finishing up. Remember to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed. Leave me any comments. 
because as you can see, we're coming up to January. I may need to sign some new players. Let me know what players I can sign or what I should sign, what positions. Drop that down in the comments below. If you're a new subscriber, thank you very much for joining, having a look. I'm trying to get more consistent with my videos. It's just been a bit tough at the moment. And if you're new and you haven't subscribed, you can press it. It's always free to do if you want to see more of my videos. So thank you all for watching and I will see you all on the next video.